Hello everyone, Jonas here from Jonas Tries Anything. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing my Gerson Regard um, handgun that I bought off uh, from Sportsman's Warehouse. Uh, this is not a paid promotional video for Sportsman, but I'm just letting you know that's where I bought this gun. Uh, Gerson Regard is a full-size handgun. It's about 4.9 inches in the barrel. Um, so it's it's pretty pretty nice full size handgun. Uh, manufacturer is from Turkey. Uh, the company name is EAA, and basically this is a clone of the Beretta M9. So if you are familiar with the Beretta M9, then this gun will really feel at home in your hands. Okay, let's open this baby. So standard um, handgun case plastic case um, has the sliding latch here and once it slide up we'll open it and this is the gun right here um, the cutout in the foam comes with this open slot here so this can accommodate um, any scopes um, that you want to put in there um, cleaning kit came with this it's just the standard um, barrel brush nothing too special um, again standard foam for the cut out here uh, you can put the magazine here as well if you have extra magazine all right so let's go ahead and review the gun so this is the handgun right here Pretty good size um, barrel is about there so it's about almost five inches pretty good um, the safety up here is ambidextrous so you could switch it on and off from both sides right there Red means ready to fire. You think about uh, flame, it's red, it's hot, it means gun is ready to fire. Block that, now it's in safety mode, okay? Um, mag, mag release is right here. It's not ambidextrous, okay? So you release it from the left side of the handgun. Right here is our slide hold. So when, it, when the magazine is empty, the slide will hold open and you just press this down to release the slide and you're ready to shoot. Right here is our takedown lever. This will go down after you push this button right here and Okay, let me, let me show you how to do that. Release the mag first. I have bullets in there. None there. Okay, no bullets there. Uh, last bullet slide hold right there. To release it, you just basically push this down. Now slide this back uh, to original position. Okay, let's do the takedown. This one right here, you push it. Once you push this button on, on the right side, this, this pin right here on the other side pops out. Once it's popped out, you just slide this down. You hear a click, you slide the slide forward, and there we go, our gun is disassembled. Okay. Um, Trigger is pretty good, pretty crisp. Um, I don't have the tool to measure how many pounds the pull is, but from my experience, um, it's about uh, four, about four, around four, uh, four pound um, weight to pull the trigger. Not too bad. Um, again, my first time shooting this uh, from thirty yards or so. I shot the whole 18 round magazine 
and out of 18 i got 15 um, that hit the metal, metal target so pretty good for the first time uh, my first time shooting the gun pretty accurate um again with the grip it's a uh, plastic grip it has these um, grooves right here in the scale so it's pretty pretty snug in your hand it won't really slip um, if you want to replace it I believe you could remove this scales by unscrewing these two screws and then you could replace it with with whatever um, scale you want um, we have these guard here for our trigger really nice um it has grooves here as well so you know when you're holding the gun like this or when you're putting it in the holster it won't slide all over the place because of these grooves i don't know if you can see that right there okay um this also comes with the rails on the bottom so you could put your uh, flashlight your lasers um, it will fit there um, really good I have not tried it yet but I will buy either a flashlight or um, a laser and I'll attach it here and I'll make another video um, right here at the back the dovetail this is really nice because it fits really snugly here on my uh, between my thumb and my my pointer finger and this helps with controlling the recoil again it's a 9mm not that bad of a recoil but again I've I've let my wife and my three kids um, try this gun uh, we, when we went out shooting a couple weeks ago and they were able to handle the gun by by themselves so pretty good um, I do like this extra addition here of the fingers, uh, the finger grooves. Um, the Beretta M9 just have like a, a flat uh, plain side here. But um, EAA added these finger grooves. So it's really nice. As you can see that there. It's like it was made for my fingers. See right there. And that allowed me to basically you know wrap my hands around these um, handle pretty nicely so I really like it um, weight wise it's not that heavy um, again I'm gonna put the gun details in the description below if you want to um, know exactly how much it weighs um, with just the gun the magazines no bullets um, again, let's talk about the slide right here. We have our barrel at the top. We have our sights right here. Okay, let's align those. It's just white, um, white sights. I would wish that they would contrast this white sights with some other color. Let's say, uh, um, uh, a luminous red or luminous green here and then just leave the front white or vice versa um, I would suggest to EAA um, if they're gonna consider this in the future to you know replace these metal sites with um, like fiberglass uh, reflective um, sites so that it's easier to use when you know when it's darker you could have that little bit of glow um but again we could also i could also put or buy the luminous paint and just put a dot there okay i'm gonna customize this um but again um to take down this i showed you earlier push the the pin on the right side slide that um take down lever downwards slide slide forward and we're able to take this to take this apart we'll basically push this um, spring here forward and again that's the spring with this metal bar um, 
to take down or take out the barrel, you just have to push it from here from the bottom. Slide it out. That's our slide. Here's our barrel. And this part right here can also be removed by just sliding it um, outwards. Okay. And yeah, basically if you're when you're cleaning the gun, um, that's how you do it. Um, you'll take the, the rod and then clean it there. Here's the barrel with the rifling. Pretty clean. Um, I just cleaned it um, the other day. I'm gonna sh uh, show you in another video how I do the cleanup of this gun as well. Um, to reassemble it, exactly the opposite of what we did. Put the spring back. And then from here, we put the barrel back into the case or the slide, just like that. Let it sit there. And this, this um, metal part here should be parallel to the slide, okay? I'll take this spring, push it in this hole right here. And then you just push it forward until the flat part of this metal bar sits right there on this assembly. Okay, there's like a groove um, where this sits. And then to take this and marry them back, we're gonna take, if you see here, there are grooves here, there are metal grooves here that will align to the cutouts in the slide. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but right there, there's cutouts. And to push this in, you just have to align this lines with the grooves, just like this, okay? You could also do this upside down, just like this, okay? Slide, and it's matching, it's matching. You hear a click. It's not yet locked because our takedown lever is still in the down position. What we need to do is to slide the slide all the way back. Okay, just like when you're when you're cocking a gun. Okay, you just cock it straight back, and that will automatically push this forward. And now the handgun is ready to fire or to use. Okay. Um, with safety on, when you pull the trigger, there's no resistance right there. You'll also see this little metal popping up here, okay? Safety off, again, this is omnidextrous. You could safety, um, turn it on and off from the right or from the left side, okay? Right there same thing um how's the the pressure um when pulling the trigger let's see that's the initial trigger if there's a bullet in here it would chamber a new round let's simulate that by um cocking this gun okay reset it's right there really really short reset if you can see that okay um let's try it again first shot chambers reset right there see how short the reset is and then you can just boom 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 boom, boom. so I think that's part of what makes this gun pretty accurate is it has a very short reset. Chamber. Boom. Pam. Chamber. Boom. Pam. Really, really nice. Um, uh, um, some of my friends have tried it, ask if this is a single or dual, um, what you call this, uh, action. Um, I would say it's both be double because the first pull is, you know, the first break is pretty hard. I think this is about four pounds pull. And then 
the second uh, pull when the trigger resets right there from here onwards that's just single action boom, 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 boom. so I would say single and dual action at the same time all right um, what else oh um, a lot of my friends that carry um, Glock 19 uh, 17 whatever and that uses a um, striker fire system instead of a hammer and this is hammer okay, you can see the hammer is engaged boom um, asked me if you know if how do I carry this gun um, I told them I carry it both ways I carry it cold you know meaning no chamber um, no round in the chamber I also carry it hot well I put a chamber one bullet in and then they asked me hey you could really chamber it with the safety off right see here that won't that won't chamber anything um, but I show them it's like hey let's try it out okay safety on move it out do we have a bullet yes we do have a bullet so I tell them it acts just like um, just like the striker fire but they said hey this might the, the thing with hammer fired is if you accidentally in your holster when you're still carrying it or when you're carrying it on your side this safety lever here might get triggered forward and when you have a bullet there and let's say you pull the gun or if um, the hammer gets you know pulled um, or caught in something and gets pulled back and released that will fire the bullet you know if it's just like that okay and I said it really won't fire the bullet because if it's just half, half cock right there you know you still have to pull the trigger it's not like those revolver guns that some, some of them you pull the the hammer and you release it and it fires um, this one still have the safety feature uh, where if this is partially cocked or fully cocked um, it won't release if you don't pull the trigger okay that's one another thing here is they said hey, okay what if you have a chamber uh, around in the chamber and this is triggered how would you decock it okay I said hey it's very easy you just slide this um, safety lever downwards and put it in safety that will decock the gun okay it won't fire if you want to see how it goes okay I'll put in safety put it in chamber okay there is a chamber uh, a bullet in the chamber we put it in not safe mode okay fingers off the trigger I'll put the trigger there okay their misconception is the only way to decock it is to pull the trigger no that's not the case in this gun you just have to put this in safety and that that triggers um decocks the gun and as you can see here okay i still have a bullet inside there there's the bullet okay so yeah those are some of the myths um with this gun that I was able to clarify with my friends and demystify that for them and you know once they tried it out they said oh it's a really nice um, it's a really nice looking gun it the feel is ergonomic um, and also the way it shoots it's pretty accurate um, and I've gotten um, similar feedbacks from different uh, individuals who have tried this gun um, when we went to the range all right um next video i will be showing is i will be shooting hollow points okay different types of bullets um hollow points i will also be um shooting um brass casing bullets as well as aluminum based uh case bullets and see what the difference are um i'm also going to make a video to see if we could shoot a 380 
a bullet they're about the same dimensions as a 9 mm okay so same circumference um so I, i'm curious if that's that ammo is able to be you know, can be fired from this 9 mm handgun i'm also gonna include that um in the uh, future videos that i will be creating using this gun and again um i carry this every day i use my um concealed carry um holster if you have not seen the review yet um i will link the uh, the link to that uh video in the description below it's gonna be also included in the end screen here so you can check it out and again this is a universal holster and it fits my um gerson regard um just fine okay all right so this is again this is jonas um thank you for watching this video i hope you find this informative if you have any questions Put it down in the uh, in the comment section below, and I'll be glad to answer those. And if you like watching my videos, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.